get ready. Disneyland Paris has a great selection of restaurants across the resort. Dining options include snack carts, quick service restaurants, table service restaurants, buffets and character dining. This video features all Disneyland Paris restaurants that are specifically table service, meaning restaurants where you sit down and are served at your table. Auberge de Cendrillon is not included as it's a character dining experience, and Agrobat Cafe and Plaza Gardens miss out as their buffet restaurants. With that said, let's jump into our table service list. Get ready! Waltz, an American restaurant. Starting with the first table service restaurant you'll see when entering the park, Waltz, an American restaurant, is on Main Street, USA. Waltz is a Victorian style restaurant that very much fits the theme of Main Street but it also features six dining rooms that represent various parts of Disneyland itself. Upon entering the restaurant, you will see a bust of Walt Disney in an elegant white room. Ascending the stairs to the restaurant, you'll find the dining rooms. A gothic style room represents Fantasyland and features paintings and sculptures of fairy tales. An oriental room represents Adventureland and has sketches of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. A nautical and space themed room represents Discoveryland and is very much in line with the Jules Verne design found over in Discoveryland. Here you will find illustrations from Jules Verne's novels and a model of the Nautilus above the fireplace. The library is western themed and represents Frontierland. This room is meant to be in the haunted town of Thunder Mesa, the town featuring the story of both Phantom Manor and Big Thunder Mountain. And you can hear all about that backstory in our Hidden Gems in Disneyland Paris video which is up in the corner right now. A Grand Canyon room features sketches of the Grand Canyon as seen from the Disneyland Railroad attraction, which circles the park. The final room is themed to the Disneyland Paris Hotel and features sketches and concept art for the hotel from before it was built. This variety is great as it can offer a different experience if you choose to visit Walt's more than once. In terms of food, the menu features some of Walt's favourite dishes. It's mostly upper scale American fine cuisine. Starters include various types of salad and soup, Main courses include wild prawn, pan-fried scallops, veal, beef tenderloin, Thanksgiving dinner, and Walt's chili con carne. Some featured desserts are cheesecake, lemon meringue pie, and various sorbets. The menu offers some good two and three course meal options. At varying prices, Walt's menu, the premium menu, and the signature menu let you choose from different options all across the menu. This restaurant is the most accommodating of the three for vegetarians and vegans, with a vegan option for starters, mains and desserts. This is one of the most expensive Disneyland Paris restaurants though. If you plan to eat here, we recommend taking advantage of the menu options, as they work out much more reasonably in terms of price. Silver Spur Steakhouse In the town of Thunder Mesa, enter this beautiful restaurant and dine with your fellow cowboys and cowgirls. In Frontierland, right by Phantom Manor, Silver Spur Steakhouse offers an authentic, cosy and delicious experience. This restaurant will take you back to the days of stagecoaches, railroads and riverboats, much like the rest of this area of the park. The massive dining room will remind you of just about every saloon you've seen in a western film. The menu features a lot of char-grilled meat with a hint of Mexican influence throughout. Starters include quesadillas, wings, tortillas, various salads and soups. Main courses feature Angus beef steaks, marinated chicken, Cajun shrimp, pork chops and salmon. Some notable desserts are the Big Thunder Cake and Molly Brown's Lemon Pie. Much like Waltz, there's a couple of different menu options that allow you to get two or three course meals at a better price. There's only one vegetarian main course option which is a vegetarian burger. Silver Spur Steakhouse is one of the more affordable table service restaurants in Disneyland Paris. If you're a big fan of Frontierland, this restaurant should definitely be on your list. Captain Jack's Captain Jack's has to be one of the greatest settings for a restaurant in the world. If you've been on Pirates of the Caribbean, you've no doubt seen it. This restaurant is set on the banks of the Rides River. Boats filled with swashbuckling riders pass by the restaurant regularly, and they'll all be most certainly envious of your dining experience. We love this because rather than building a restaurant replicating the theming of the ride, they went ahead and built a restaurant that is effectively part of the ride. The dining area is dimly lit by lanterns and string lights and very much feels like you're outside on a warm night in a Caribbean village. As you eat, you'll overlook the night sky filled with palm trees, shipwrecks and pirate huts. The menu leans into more seafood options, but it's fairly well balanced. Starters include tuna, cod fritters and various soups and salads. Main courses feature grilled wahoo, 
mahi-mahi fish steak, Caribbean chicken and prawn, and pork and beef options too, as well as vegetable curry. Desserts include exotic fruit soup, tonka bean flavoured chocolate tart, and island style rum baba, among others. Like the previous Disneyland Paris restaurants, it has a menu that allows you to get a three course meal for a better price. This restaurant is a little on the expensive side, but in our opinion, it's worth it for the incredible setting. And it's not to be missed if you're a seafood lover. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our Hidden Gems in Disneyland Paris video, that's on screen now. If you're visiting the park soon and want to visit any of these restaurants, we highly recommend making reservations in advance of your trip to ensure you get a table. Have you eaten in any of these restaurants? We'd love to know about your experience, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And now you're ready.